welcome to this week's Momentum Masterclass. Now, it's often said that if you do the basics really well in rugby, well, you're going to score points and you're going to win the game. And this week, we're going back to the basics. Gary's going to be looking at a number of passing drills. Gary, if you can do the basics well, you can score points and win games. Well, it helps, definitely helps. <laughs> Probably one of my biggest bugbears is our passing and our ability to pass. And uh, the, the amount of time and energy we put into it at schools, I just don't think it's enough really. So what I thought I'd do today is I'd share some passing drills with you guys at home and uh, give you an opportunity to be able to put these into practice. Okay, here you see three groups of guys with two standard scrum halves. Let's just have a look at the drill and I'll show you how it works. They go to the end, they give the ball back to scrum half and then he passes it down that back line. Pretty straightforward, but a really, really good exercise for very many points of view and I'll show you them now. Let's take it back to the beginning. Have a look at it slowly. Okay, so the setup of the drill is the following. You have two scrum halves. There's your scrum half and there's your other scrum half. And then what you've got is you've got actually three back lines running. So you've got the one back line there. When they finish, you're gonna to play to that back line over there. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna play it again back to this back line over here. And what's important is once this first back line is done, that they get out of the way quickly and then they get ready to realign to take the ball again. So what you're looking to do here, in the case of this back line, they make the passes and it's passing to the left. And as you can see in this case, they've got the first receiver working after his pass to become the last man again. He gives it back to that scrum off. They practice their passing to their right. He finishes it as well, gives it to that scrum off and they practice their, their passing to their left. As you can see, there's three groups over here. It consists of 12 plus the two scrum is 14. So if you've got a really big squad, you can run two big grids of this, this, this drill working. Okay, let's see the advancement where we took the advancement. We go out a little bit wider. It's much better, you get them passing the ball a lot further. And the scrum halves are standing a little bit wider as well. There's more distance, there's now about three meters between each of the players. And even you can see here, we're running this drill so many times, even their passing has improved. Now we want to advance it one more, one more stage. Mm -hmm. What we start to introduce here is the nine starts to make the pass and the 10 actually starts throwing skip passes and then a switch on the inside. So there's so many variations you can do to this drill. The principle is exactly the same, still working with three groups, but you just start to bring in a little bit of variation. And in this case, it's a skip pass and then a switch. So there he throws the skip pass and then the guy comes back on the switch. And then he switches again with a scrum half. And so you can just keep rotating the drill. As I said, Dino, a really, really important skill. You can do it in a warm up or you can do it as a full intense session. And it's a skill that should really be honed at all levels of the game. That's it for this week's Momentum Masterclass. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember that if you want to take a closer look at these clips, maybe rewind them, press play again, all you need to do is go to www.fmbclassicclashes.co.za and you'll find all of the clips that we've ever discussed here on the Momentum Masterclass. From myself, Dino, Mr. Gary, gold. Cheers. This Masterclass was brought to you by Momentum.